This is the second part of our Python looping video duo. And in this video, we're going to talk about while loops. When it comes to looping in Python, we have another type of loop that we need to look at. But I want to make the point that do while loops do not exist in Python. We only have while do's. So this video is kind of part two of looping. And we're only going to talk about the while loop. And I'm going to show you a basic one. And then we're going to move on. So because these loops are very basic, and it's really not that much different from what you saw in C. So I've already set up the file to begin with. And I made the comments that do while does not exist. And then we only have while do. So let's start with x 97. So let's type that in x equals 97. Okay, got that. Now, let's build a while loop. It's literally while, and we're going to say x is less than 123. Let's pick a number there. And sometimes, for syntax reasons, I like to let this breathe a little. Doesn't really matter. But that should be a little easier to read in a recording. I'm going to say print. And I'm going to say placeholder. I'm going to do this, ASCII value, and then placeholder one dot format x character value of x. Okay. And then I'm going to say print placeholder zero dot format of X comma placeholder zero. That format character of X comma sep equals quote value. Print, and I will explain all of this when we see it run. And then I'm going to say x plus equals 1. All right. So I've got some weird looking print statements in there where I do placeholder, this kind of an arrow, ASCII value, and then the ASCII value based on this. Then I say placeholder. So print that. And then I'm going to put the character of x in there, but I'm calling the separator this, OK? And then I'm doing x and the character x with this, all right? So let's save this. And this is iteration 2. So we're going to say Python iteration 2.py. And here's what I wanted you to see. The first two are identical in what comes out to the console. 
identical, 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 identical. And this one is just pretty simple. Okay. So I've looped, by the way, what I did was I looped from A all the way through Z in the lowercase. Okay. Lowercase Z is 122. So if you look back here, 123, remember that's a bridge too far. Okay. So it'll go from from 97 to 122 inclusive, okay? So here's what I did. Placeholder, this is a literal positioning of that, and I formatted it. Here, I have two different strings being printed, okay? So because there's two strings being different, I want to override the separation from being basically a space um, or nothing. And I want it to be this, which you'll notice is exactly what's separated there. Okay. So it's a style thing. It may be based on how you're doing your prints, but you can create a variable that is your separator and put it in there and these are equivalent statements okay they interpret or compile down to the same thing and then this is just printing them you know one after there so this is a very simple separator and um, let's just show you what happens if we don't do anything okay let's see what it is control c control v and we're just going to take this out Okay, control save, and let's see what that does. Okay, it's a space. Okay, so in this case, I replaced the space with a colon, and in this case, I replaced it with the exact same thing that I had put in as a literal. That's really all there is to a while loop. Notice I had to increment X so that this was not an infinite loop. You need to be careful in every language that this while condition eventually ends. Okay? But that's true in every language when you're doing loops. That's every bit as true in Python as it was in C. There you have it. That is a while do loop in Python. Okay, so now you've seen the types of looping that we can do in Python. And so in the next video, we are going to talk about one of the most useful data types that you will come across in the language, and that is known as lists. So we'll see you on the other side.